Alrighty, Aries, so this is going to be your reading for December 10th through the 17th. Thank you guys so much for joining me back on my channel. This is going to be a general reading. It will not apply to every Aries out there. That's why I do advise that you do check out your other placements if it isn't an Aries. Um, and yeah, we're going to hop straight into it. Also, if you're interested in getting a personal reading, all my information is going to be listed below in the description box for you to find. So definitely check there. My website is www.mysticalcrystals.com and my email is crystalcorion at mysticalcrystals.com as well. Alrighty, so let's get straight into the reading. We're going to go ahead and get into the Rebel deck to see what straight up advice that they have for us and then we're going to get into the romance angel cards and then we're going to go ahead and finish off with the spread okay so what's going on with my aries for december 10th through the 17th what is the guidance i need to pass on to my aries for december 10th through the 17th december 10th whoa Hold on, guys. All these cards just flipped out, and there's way too many. December 10th through the 17th for my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aries. First card out, we have Shame, Regret, and Guilt. Those are just bullshit. Forgive, let that shit go. Okay, and then we're going to take one more. Give me one more card for my Aries for December 10th through the 17th. And we have stop talking. It says shut your mouth and listen. Okay, so I got this card for Gemini's as well. So it seems like you guys got a lot going on as well. We have, and then we also have you're giving too many fucks. It says give zero. Alrighty, so I feel as if this week you guys are needing to. For one, you need to stop giving so much energy to situations that don't require you to give any, especially if you know deep down somebody or something is not deserving of your energy, you need to take your energy away from that. And I feel as if you guys need to forgive situations where you may have, you know, done some things that weren't right or dealing with people who may have done some things that weren't right to you. You need to make sure that you're not sitting in this guilt or feeling shameful of yourself or just feeling this sense of like disappointment overall over some things that you may have gone through you need to forgive understand that those lessons that you were supposed to learn you got them and move forward stop feeding your energy into situations that don't deserve your energy especially if you know deep down it doesn't deserve your energy at all okay and let's see what's going on with my coupled Aries. What is the love advice I can pass on to my Aries for December 10th through the 17th? Coupled Aries for December 10th through the 17th. And we have, okay, we have two. We have your friends miss your face. They need you. You need them. And then we have you're not being heard. Say that shit again louder. So I feel like in your relationships, guys, you may feel as if you're not being heard, like your spouse is not trying to hear what you're saying at the moment, and it may be a huge issue. You're not having it right now, okay? Some of you guys are just like over it, and I feel as if you guys need to either speak up for yourself or get away from this person, like simple. It, it's very straightforward, okay? I'm an Aries like y'all, so y'all already know how straightforward it is, okay? Or how straightforward I can be, but... There also needs to be a break. Maybe like in this relationship, you may need a break from your spouse and you interacting with friends or going out and getting advice maybe from friends or people around you that you're close to uh, would definitely help and also alleviate any sort of tension you may have going on in your relationship. So take some time away from your spouse, spend some time with some friends, maybe get some advice from your friends about what your relationship is. Um, like where your relationship is going, like see if your friends can give you some helpful uh, guidance when it comes to just moving forward. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and see what the romance angel cards have to say. Give me one card for my single Aries for December 10th through the 17th. Single Aries, we have pay attention to the red flags and it's clarified by flirt. So you guys may be dealing with somebody who, 
you need to be aware of. Like maybe they are like shady or maybe they just have some things going on that you really need to pay attention to and not just um, acting as if it's not there. Okay, so make sure you guys are being on alert when it comes to your spouse this week. And for my, my take in Aries for December 10th through the 17th, we have finances and career clarified by trust. So there may be a main focus on your finances or somebody in your connection is needing to either improve their finances or somebody's putting too much of their focus on their finances. But I feel like also there needs to be more of like, there needs to be more trust within the connection so that the relationship can run cohesively. Cause I feel like for some reason there's like a snake type of situation going on. Like, I heard like you're some of you guys could be feeling paranoid about this or this could actually be going on, but your partner may be like stabbing you in your back, like stabbing you in your back, like in your face, acting one way, but then underlyingly like not really the best for you. So we're going to see more in depth what this is talking about because I'm very interested to see so what's going on my aries for december 10 through the 17th please aries for december 10 through the 17th so first card out we have the knight of swords so you could be dealing with the air sign, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Libra energy at the bottom. But I feel as if you may be acting quickly to either communicate with somebody or to cut somebody out, okay? Strong air sign energy. You also may be engaging in really, like, aggressive communication with this person. I have the five of cups in reverse and then the three of swords. So you guys may be coming out of this hurt or focusing on what didn't work out in the past and you're getting over it, but you may be feeling a sense of hurt when it comes to this air sign. Okay. There may be like issues with this person being super detached, also being like super disgusting with the way that they communicate for some of you guys, like saying some really nasty things to you. I have the six of cups so this may be somebody who you have kids with or somebody who you have like a a soulmate connection with or a connection from childhood for some of you guys or a very childlike connection but i feel like you guys may be in a very nostalgic state of like how the relationship was before i have the two of cups so i'm definitely seeing a relationship uh that may be coming into fruition from your past this may be a water sign we have the high priestess. So this may be a Pisces for some of you guys, but with whatever relationship is coming back up, especially if it is a past relationship, you do need to use your intuition. You do need to look at both sides of the coin. Uh, look at the bad and the good, okay? Um, especially if you are dealing with the water sign. I feel like regardless of the sign, there needs to be emotions expressed and your intuition um definitely on go with the situation and i have the hangman clarified by the seven of swords in reverse so there may be you guys may be hanging into a situation here where you can no longer be deceptive to yourself about and you have to come to a sudden realization also some of you guys you may have been hanging into a situation but somebody may have gotten caught up and you may like lose the strength to actually stick with this connection because you feel as if you may be unable to control it because it's unstable especially if you're dealing with the earth sign or another fire sign you may be lacking passion for that and you may be just focused solely on your finances you may have put work into a connection here waiting for it to kind of pan out to be something and it just panned out to be something toxic for some of you guys okay and you may be in a space of like wanting to get away from that let's go ahead and see what's going on with the cross watcher briefly i'm trying to make these videos a little bit shorter what's going on with my aries cross watcher partner person in question for december 
10 through the 17, please. So first card out, we have the Wheel of the Wheel of Fortune, the World card. So this cycle is closing out for them. Yeah. Also, there may be a new cycle opening up for a Scorpio. Um, I feel like also any cycles of like anything that may have been going on, that's definitely ending as well. And there is a transformation taking place. Everything that was... I'm going to keep pulling cards. And I have the seven of wands here. So this person may be very defensive or they feel as if you may be very defensive. Um, I feel as if there is a lot of conflict with this person. They feel as if there's conflict with you and them. There also may be internal conflict on this person's part. And because of that, they want to leave the situation out. Um, I feel like this person is not fulfilled right now. They want to start something new. But they have issues opening up emotionally. I feel like this person needs to go within about what they want to do with you. I feel like they need to figure some things out. They also may feel like there's issues with getting control over you. For some of you guys, this person has issues with getting control over you when it comes to this relationship. And that is also... Aries cross watcher yeah and I feel like with the hermit card in reverse coming out I feel like you guys are definitely dealing with the Virgo Taurus Aries whoever doesn't matter Pisces energy but somebody's feeling a lack of control and I feel like this person really needs to figure some things out internally and get an inner understanding of what they want to do okay But um, that's pretty much what I'm seeing with this situation, guys. Um, I would definitely be careful this week. I will say that, all right? And I know, Aries, you guys are sick and tired of it. I already know, but that's what I'm seeing. I wish you guys the best of luck. If you do want a personal reading, all my information is listed below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.